I am totally upset. Dentist Dr. George Papasikos is upset because of a notice he got from his health insurance company. In the end of September, I received a notice from my uh, small business health care plan that it was going to be terminated as of February 1 and that I would probably be offered a substitute plan at a much higher premium. How much higher? 43%. He's not alone. Blogger Nicole Sanders had a similar reaction when she found out her insurance coverage would cease. I was very upset about it, quite frankly, because I, I have issues, I have bad asthma, and, and I kind of felt that they were just leaving me out. And, and you know, I, I'm still lost, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing because I've tried to look at different plans, and I was told that I, you know, wanted I should try to go through healthcare.gov. I've been trying to do that for a while and it's been unsuccessful so far. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey announced it will not renew any small group or individual plans in 2014, impacting potentially 500,000 people. Despite the president's call urging insurers to reinstate canceled policies, the company issued the following statement. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey has been working to implement the Affordable Care Act for the past three and a half years and undoing our work and essentially creating new plans in three weeks has proven to be impossible. But United Healthcare, a parent company for Oxford Health Plan, said the company is working with our brokers to assist our small group customers in New Jersey who wish to renew their 2013 health care coverage. But even if plans are reinstated, other problems could crop up, say experts. Continuation of plans, you know, does create some, you know, some uh, attractive uh, options for certain consumers. It does have uh, an impact in the back end on, on price for some consumers. If your plan is canceled, Sanders says there are options. You know, the individual and small employer markets are guarantee issue markets, so no one can be turned down regardless of their health status or their, uh, you know, really any other condition. Um, so. Um, uh, folks um, are not losing coverage necessarily on January 1st. If your plan renewal is on January 1st, then you need to look for alternative coverage. And the Health Exchange's website is working better, but with such a disastrous rollout, it's unclear if consumers will continue to go there to shop for coverage. I'm Desiree Taylor, NJTV News.